Good morning, Jason Robinson with RJG in Woodstock, Georgia. How is everybody doing today? Today, what we're going to talk about is the different terminology on different molding machines. So what I mean specifically about that is all the molding machines have basically the same types of settings or adjustments that we can make, but in many cases, they have totally different names. And they also are in, are in different locations on the controller. Um, why is it that way? I don't have a really good answer for you other than if you're, make, if, if you're making the machine, you have the right to call it what you want and place it on the controller where you want. Um, as molding engineers and molding technicians, anyone who adjusts the machine on the molding floor, we have to be able to navigate those different terminologies and locations for settings on controllers despite being different names. Um, so we're gonna play a game today to try to illustrate how many different names the same setting can have. The game is gonna be set up like the game of Jeopardy. If you're not familiar with how that game works, here's how it works. I'm gonna give you the answer and we're gonna, the response will be in the form of the question. Okay, so let's start. The first one is, this is the setting on the machine where we apply pressure to the cavities in the mold. What is hold pressure? That's correct. What is pack pressure? And that's the correct answer also. Oh, I know. What is P2? Well, yes, that's correct too. What is pH 1, 2, 3, and 4? And everybody's winner. Just in my shop alone, we found four different answers to that setting, to that question. We have pack, we have hold, we have the second pressure. Um, some machines will have a pack and a hold pressure. Um, one of them had acronyms like PH4, but when you click on it, it says holding pressure and it has four of them, okay? So generally, a lot of times for all the different terminologies, an RJG instructor will we'll just call it second stage. Because if you look at the logical sequence of things, we have the first pressure and velocity that fills the cavity. And then we change to the, the second mode of operation, which is pressure control. So we have two stages, first stage and second stage. So generally as an RJ, RJG instructor, I'm just going to say second stage. Um, and that implies pack, it implies hold, it implies pack and hold together. Um, yeah, there's lots of things you can call it and there's probably more names than that. That's just the machines I have in my shop. I have seven of them. Of the seven, there were four different basic ways to call it. This is the setting that ends the first stage of the process and starts the second stage of the molding process. What is V to P switch over? What is the pressure change position? What is position transfer? Um, what is switch over? Good job, that's right. This is the movement of the screw backwards after shot size is achieved. What is LS10? Or what is suck back position? What is decomp? Alex, what is SD? Screw decompression. What is pullback? What is decomp after plasticizing? You guys are doing great. All those answers were correct. So uh, screw decompression, decompression, decomp. Um, the one unique one was pullback. Um, all those are signifying that the screw is pulling back uh, the screw in a backwards motion after the screw achieves shot size. Um, decompression implies more what the setting actually does. It decompresses the melt in front of the check ring. There are some other names, uh, but none of those I have in my shop. So, um, and if you noticed on the one machine um, where those settings are usually at is right near on the controller where you might see the shot size um, and the back pressure and the RPM. So that's kind of the logic to where they usually place that setting at. And along with the de decompression or decomp position or distance that we were looking at, 
um, there was also usually a speed associated with that. So you have to tell the machine how far to decompress and how fast to do it. Usually those are pretty low speeds, around one inch per second. All right, you fellows are doing great. We have one more to go. This is the setting that tells the machine how much plastic to load into the barrel before the next shot. I know this one. What is metering position? What is shot volume? What is shot size? What is dose end? What is SM? Shot meter. What is metering position? What is LS5? LS5 charge complete position. Great job, everybody. Perfect scores. Um, so you guys, we just went over four settings. Um, only four. There's many. We could go on for hours and do this. Um, so that last one that we did was the the basically the most common name is shot size. Uh, another common name is dosing or dose in. The dose means how much you a dosage of medicine, kind of like a dose of plastic that you're going to inject into the mold. Um, metering, uh, metering position was another one we saw. So metering applies to the rotation of the screw. You're metering and measuring in the amount of plastic. So um, we welcome any comments or questions that you, you guys may have. Please comment in the comment section below. Um, if there's any other uh, terminology that we didn't cover, which, which was probably a lot, if you have a question about, please ask a question. Um, if you have another one you just want to add in, awesome. Um, we appreciate your feedback and your questions. You guys have a good day. Mm -hmm.